Now that Paul Ryan is Speaker of the House, keep a wary eye out for Ryan's seven favorite ideas. They're also cropping up among Republican presidential candidates, so keep two wary eyes out. Here they are in under two minutes. Number one, reduce the top income tax rate to 25% from the current 39%. Mm. A terrible idea. It's a huge windfall to the rich at a time when the rich already take home a larger share of total income than at any time since the 1920s. Number two, cut corporate taxes to 25% from the current 35%. Mm. Another bad idea, a giant sop to corporations, the largest of which are already socking away $2.1 trillion in foreign tax shelters. Number three, slash spending on domestic programs like food stamps and education for poor districts. Mm. What? Already 22% of the nation's children are in poverty. These cuts would only make things worse. Number four, turn Medicaid and other federal programs for the poor into block grants for the states, and then let the states decide how to allocate them. In other words, give Republican state legislatures and governors slush funds to do with as they wish. Number five, turn Medicare into vouchers that don't keep up with increases in health care costs. In effect, cutting Medicare for the elderly, another awful idea. Six, deal with rising social security costs by raising the retirement age for social security. Bad. This would make social security even more regressive, since the poor don't live nearly as long as the rich. Seven, and finally, let the minimum wage continue to decline as inflation eats it away. Wrong again. Low wage workers need a higher minimum wage. These seven ideas will harm most Americans. Ryan is wrong.